Hey everyone, it's your girl Stephanie. If you've taken up journaling in 2024 or have previously found it to be stressful and time consuming, you're in luck. We asked the JetPens team to share their number one tips on journaling. Keep watching to also see our favorite pen and journal combos. So I've been journaling on and off for years, never finishing a single notebook until around 2018 when it became part of my daily routine. I used to think, why bother journaling? All my days are the same. But there's a lot of minutia that can go unnoticed if you assume your days consist of waking up, going to work, coming home, and going to sleep. So my number one tip when it comes to journaling is to write down the little things. The number one tip is just to write, but that's, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. <laughs> when in doubt, just write. For me, it's the new music I listen to, how my current art challenge is going, if I remember to check in with a friend I haven't talked to in a while, etc. The days go by so quickly, and it's important for me to remember that they're made of moments. For writing tools, I cycle through my fountain pens and use a different one each day. But if I had to choose just one, I'd go with the Twisby Eco in Persian Green with a broad nib. It shows off inks well and always provides an excellent writing experience. I highly recommend checking our site to see which limited edition Ecos are currently available. As for my journal, I'll use any empty notebook from my stash. These days, I've been writing in outdated Fobonichi planner books. A6 is the perfect size for me, and I usually fill two pages a day. Plus, the Tomoe River paper inside is fountain pen friendly. Pick up a Hobonichi plain notebook if you're on the hunt for a new journal. Although, knowing our viewers, that probably isn't a problem. Hi everyone, I'm Connie, a writer at JetPens. I've been keeping a journal for about seven or eight years now. The tip that worked for me was pretty simple. Don't turn journaling into a chore. After all, journaling should be a fun, relaxing experience. When I start getting that feeling like, ugh, I have to journal today, that's a pretty good sign that I'm not going to approach it from a positive angle. If I start to feel stressed or bored by journaling, then I'll want to do it less and less. When I'm really busy, I might schedule some time to sit down and focus on journaling, especially on the weekends. But listen, Sometimes it's a Saturday afternoon, I'm an hour into playing video games, and I'd rather beat up monsters in journal. I know that I'll always get around to it eventually, so I just let myself do what I want to do at the moment. And wouldn't you know, I usually have an entry written by Sunday evening, although it might be about the quest I just finished. I would say that when I'm really feeling like I want to journal, I'll probably journal like three to five times a week. I just like sit down. It might not be a very long entry, maybe like two or three paragraphs. Uh, if I find myself journaling like once a week or twice a week, I write a lot more. But I usually try to schedule a little bit of time on like a Saturday or a Sunday if I found that I haven't journaled in a week or so. Like Stephanie, I'm a fountain pen user who likes to cycle through what I have inked. But lately, I felt like my Lamy Safari has been extra nice to use. Its broad nib is juicy and super smooth. You can't get this limited edition petrol version anymore, but Lamy has plenty of safari colors for you to choose from. You can even pick up the Clear Vista or Aluminum All-Star. Right now, I'm journaling in an old Kansonoto. I'm looking forward to jumping into our latest version of the Kansonoto. This is filled with Tamori River S. I just love the way my fountain pens feel on this paper. Do you have any tips for journaling or prefer journaling supplies? Share them in the comments. We have a whole playlist dedicated to journaling on YouTube, so check that out if you need some more ideas. All the items in this video can be found in the description as well as jetpens.com, the place for pen and stationery lovers. Thanks for watching. Okay, so these, these are my most recent ones, 2022 to 2023, and then this one I just finished the first week of January, and then I started in the new one. I also have this one. <laughs> it's very good. This is an old Lois charm, bunch of stickers on it. I used to use this as an ink journal, not anymore. I have this one, this one's my favorite one. 
It looks like the VHS cover of a Goofy movie. It also has the description on the back. And then when you look inside, it's like, wow. <laughs> this is a gift. I cherish it very deeply. <laughs>